Do you want to make $1,000 a month trading Forex? Watch this video for the answer. So you've been trading Forex for a little while and you realize it's not all that it's been cracked up to be. It's not easy to make money in Forex, but how can you make a thousand bucks a month? That doesn't sound too ridiculous, especially if you have some capital to bring to the table. How can you start making $1,000 or more trading Forex per month? In this video, I'm going to take you the no clickbait, no BS answer on how to actually do this consistently. First, there's a few things that we're going to cover in this video that I want you to know before we jump into each category. The first is how much money do you need to have to make $1,000 in Forex per month? Number two, how much percent per month do you need to return on your trading to generate $1,000 per month? Number three, what strategies should you use to make $1,000 per month trading Forex? And number four, perhaps the most important category, how do you do this without blowing your trading account? Because the worst case scenario would be you're trying to make $1,000 a month and then you lose 10,000. Let's avoid doing that in the last part of the video, so stay tuned for that. The first category we need to talk about is how much money do you need to have to make $1,000 per month? And this is sort of a catch-22 answer. There's many different ways to answer this, but I'll give you the most direct. The more money that you have when you trade Forex, the easier it is to make money. This is something that we've talked about so many times on the channel, so I won't beat a dead horse, but just remember the old saying, it takes money to make money. The more money that you begin with, the easier it is to make more of it. It's kind of like if you were to walk in and play poker and you started with very little chips, it's very hard to make a big pile of chips out of that. But if you came to the poker table and you had a very large pile of chips and you were just trying to make a little slow, you know, gain on your poker chip pile, it's a little bit easier. Again, the bigger you start with, the bigger your pile of coins, your pile of cash, whatever it is, starts out as, the easier it is to make uh, gains. For example, if you are trying to take a $1,000 trading account and you're trying to make $1,000 a month on it, you have to double that account. Double it, double everything, double ice cream, double napkins. That's really, really hard to do. And ask anybody who's been trading Forex for a while, doubling an account in a month is essentially no different than just trying to gamble your trading account, which we're not big fans of here on the channel. So that brings me to point number two. More important than the amount of money you bring to the table, what percentage do you actually need to return per month consistently to make $1,000 per average on month, uh, per month? And here's where that first portion where we talked about how much money you have really comes into play. I'll give you a couple figures that may help you out with this. Remember what I just said, if you have a $1,000 account, you have to double it or make 100% gains on your trading account per month to make $1,000. That's really, really difficult and high risk. Remember, it's gonna get easy, so watch how the math works out. Now let's say instead of a th starting with $1,000, you have a $10,000 trading account. Now you need to make 10% per month. Still very difficult, but doable compared to 100% in a month to make $1,000. So you have now $10,000 to begin with. To make $1,000, that's a smaller pile compared to our initial balance of $10,000. So it's a little bit easier, still tricky to make 10% in a single month, but doable and that would equate to $1,000 in gains. A lot easier. Next, let's double it again. Let's say you have $20,000 to trade with and you are trading your, your strategies, your approaches, and you make 5% to make $1,000 in a month. 5% is a lot easier than 10% and it's a heck of a lot easier than 100% gains in a single month when we first started talking about this. So again, $20,000, getting easier, but still kind of tricky to make 5% on average per month and only the best of the best traders that I know can do that consistently. Now it's time to get a lot easier. Now we're talking about $50,000 accounts. If you have a $50,000 account, which I understand is a lot of money, especially for newer traders who may not have that kind of capital, you're talking about just 2% per month on average to make $1,000 per month. Again, way easier than trying to double our account, trying to make 10% per month on our account, and even easier than trying to make 5%. Going for just 2% average returns per month gets you to that $1,000 mark, which is the goal of today's video. And finally, just for fun, let's talk about a $100,000 account. If you have a 100K account, which you can either fund yourself or if you have a prop firm that funds you, $1,000 per month is only 1% of your total account balance. Way easier than where we started. 
and hopefully you're seeing the pattern. The more money you have, the easier the math is to make $1,000 per month consistently from trading Forex. This is not a popular concept because a lot of people hear about Forex and they want to turn their small amount of money into a big amount of money. I talk about that all the time on the channel. But remember, the point is we're looking at the math and I'm not a big math guy, but if I can understand it, hopefully you can too. The more you have, the easier it is to make $1,000 per month. So now we need to go back to that next category that we're talking about. What strategies should you be using to trade and make $1,000 per month? And this is kind of a trick question because there is no one strategy. There is not two strategies, there's not five strategies, there's hundreds of strategies, if not thousands of strategies that you could theoretically do this with. Thousands of them, hundreds of thousands. But what matters more than the strategy that you you personally choose is choosing a strategy that you've actually taken the time to test, back test, right? You're studying this concept, you're historically testing to see how it does in the markets and experiencing what's the max drawdown that I could expect? What are losing streaks like with this strategy? Um, you know, because not every single month are we going to make the exact same returns. Depending on what the market is doing, you may have better months, you may have worse months, you may have break even months. Again, kind of the main focus of this video is to look for an average return of around $1,000 per month. So when you're looking at strategies to use for this, you need to make sure that you choose one that is comfortable to you, that you've back tested thoroughly and you feel comfortable trading. And most importantly, it's something that you can do consistently to make those sort of returns, not just, you know, you need a huge stroke of luck to make any money from, right? So we're looking for strategies, for example, where you have good risk to reward, where you're able to risk small so that you don't hurt your trading account too much when you're wrong, and something that has historical, uh, some form of an edge. Now that, that may be trading price action, it may be using fundamentals. We have a whole channel, and in fact, what I'll do is I'll pop up a card right now for you to check out some trading strategies that might be helpful to you. A couple price action strategies should see pop up on the screen right now so that you can check it out. How do you not blow up? Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. This is the last category and they save the best for last. They say that for a reason. This really is the most important component to this whole thing. Everybody wants to talk about how much money they can make from Forex, but not a lot of people want to talk about how to not blow up their trading account. You'll hear influencers and people talk all about, you know, how much money they're making, how they're making huge returns out of the markets. But what's way more important is how are you protecting yourself when you're trading isn't going well. And I don't care who you are, how long you've been doing this. Heck, Warren Buffett had a losing streak in the last couple of years, right? Um, it's really, really important to address what you're gonna do when you're wrong. So of course, we have an entire guide on risk management that is available. Um, and we have some videos on that sort of thing. So please educate yourself about risk management before you do this anything. Remember when I said how things got easier when you, um, when you increase the amount of money that you're working with, when you go for smaller and smaller gains to make that $1,000 target, remember it works the other way, unfortunately, for blowing your account. The more you actually try to go for on a small trading account, the more likely and the increased risk of blowing your account entirely. If you're trying to go for 100% gains, it's very easy to 100% lose your account. And, and that's why we don't mess around with that sort of stuff on the channel. We talk about slow and steady, consistent returns. And if you wanna make $1,000 per month, you're gonna have to bring money to the table. You're gonna have to have years of experience, a lot of hard work, and all the stuff that people don't wanna hear and usually click off the video when they hear that. We've seen it in the analytics. We're calling you guys out. Explain yourselves. If you're still here at the end of the video, do me a favor, comment down below that you made it to the end. You are a real one and we love having you watch our channel. We're so thankful to you guys for supporting the content. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up, help us out. We're making these videos every day and we're loving doing it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. What's up guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.